Uh, it's Dan at the Buckles office and um, right now I'm going to talk to you about installing the cloud library app for Windows and then how to use it to transfer books onto your Nook or Kobo e-ink reader. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to download the app. Okay, right now I'm looking at the um, the Buckles uh, cloud library page, the web page. Uh, to get to the app, you could click on this little download app button right here, and that would get you there pretty quickly. Um, you could also just uh, type in www.yourcloudlibrary.com, and that would bring you there real quickly as well. Um, so to get any kind of an app, you want to go look down on this sidebar over here, and we're looking for Windows. I'm going to click on Available for Windows. Uh, the Mac app is very similar, but I may go over how to make that happen as well in a future episode. But right now we're going to deal with Windows. Okay, um, you want to make sure that it's compatible with your Windows operating system. So if you're running a, a version of Windows that came out after Vista, uh, it is probably compatible with the app. Okay, and you might also want to look at these supported readers section here. The Nook, Nook Touch, Glow Touch, you know, all of those and all Kobos. Um, there are special instructions for these two. I'm going to get into that very slightly, but um, the instructions have been improved so much um, since the last version that there's not a whole lot that has to be said there anymore. Okay, so uh, anyway, we're going to go to the bottom of this page, and we're just going to click right on this download the app link, because that'll make it happen fast. Okay, and then we're going to wait a minute or so, not a minute. It's going to be, it looks like it was less than 10 seconds, and it is now done. And we're going to click on it right over here. If you're running a different browser, this is Chrome. Uh, if you're running some other browser, you're going to have to find wherever downloads go for you. It might go on your desktop or in your downloads folder or wherever. Just go there and click or double click on the uh, um, the file and it will start up. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC. You say yes. You go next. I agree. Okay, we click uh, finish, and it's going to automatically launch the app. I believe the app is actually running behind the browser now. Yes, there it is. So this is what the app looks like when you first open it up. You're going to click next, and you're going to sign in. Say you're in the United States. You are in New Jersey and you are a member of Buckles Library. And then you're going to put in your card number. I have a fake card over here that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. Can you grab a space there? Yes, I do. Make sure you don't put any spaces in. That's important, actually. Accept the legal terms. Click Login. OK, now if you have an Adobe ID that your computer is currently um, using it's going to ask you to confirm that you want to use that one you can reset it change it to a completely different one you can re click reset and then say I want you to just give me one and it'll just make up a random one but if you are using a Nook or a Kobo reader you probably want to use a specific Adobe ID that is associated with that Nook or Kobo reader and you need to know what that is to make this work okay um, for now, I'm going to confirm. All right, so if I go to My Books, you'll see any of the books that I've checked out. I don't have anything checked out yet. Featured, Browse, it's all just like the website or like the app for any mobile device. I mean, very, very similar. You know, the, the options are all about the same. First of all, if you don't know about filters, they're great. Um, your view filter. I only want to see things that are available now, and I'm only interested in ebooks. So you can set those filters and click apply. And now I'm just going to get a list of everything that is currently available for me to download immediately. And it's only ebooks, no audiobooks now.
you can see how that could be advantageous um, if you uh, you know you don't want to put something on hold you're not interested in reading something two weeks from now you want to get something right now and read it okay so I'm gonna pick something gargoyle hunters okay I'm gonna borrow that and it's automatically gonna download into the my books section it's fully downloaded now I can click on it and it will open it and I can begin reading it here in the app if I want but what I want to do and what I want to show you is that you can transfer it to I have a Nook Simple Touch in front of me I'm going to show you um, I'm going to cut away to some some actual real life footage of me plugging in a USB cable into my computer and then taking the other end of that USB cable and plugging it in to my Nook Simple Touch Okay, you see now that I have plugged that uh, the device into my computer, this green transfer to device button has appeared on the cover of the book. And I can click on that and I can wait a few seconds and it has been transferred to my Nook. All right, I'll close that window. Now I'm going to eject my Nook. Oh, I can't do it right now. Uh, quick cloud library, and I'm going to eject my Nook. There we go. And unplug it. And now I'm going to show you footage of me actually reading, or at least opening that book. Hi, you know, earlier I had said that um, when we were looking at the, the downloads page for the app, uh, it says that there are special instructions for the Nook HD and the Nook Glowlight Plus. Um, well, I'm going to go over those right now. They're pretty simple, really. Okay, so here we are inside the, the My Books uh, section of the Windows Cloud Library app. You will notice down here there's a button that says View Book Files. If you're using a Nook HD or a Nook Glowlight Plus, you're going to need to use this little button. It's just going to open up an Explorer window that shows you exactly where the ebook files are on your computer. Now, if you take that ebook file and pretend this is a, a Nook Glowlight Plus um, or a Nook HD, whatever, you just grab that file, drop it into my files, and then wait for it to copy over. It's going to be seconds. It's I'm sure it's done by now. Anyway, so now you can uh, eject your Nook. If you have the Nook HD or Nook Glowlight Plus, now that book resides on your Nook and you will be able to read it. Okay? I think uh, that's pretty simple. Not as simple as pushing a little green button, but still pretty simple. Okay, thanks a lot.